Okay, so here's another one where we want to do a graph. This time we have a negative out front, which means that we're going to have a flip. So before you move it into position and start drawing it, we first need to tell which direction the graph is going to go in. The negative out front means that we're flipping the graph over the horizontal axis. Negative on the outside is a flip over the horizontal. A negative on the inside is a flip over the vertical. So this one we're flipping it only over the horizontal. So if I take this graph right here, the base graph, and flip it, it's going to look like this. I'm going to draw that in with some dotted lines. So now the graph is going to be falling. It's still going to go through the same spot on the x-axis. Still, We have the same x-intercept, but it's going to be falling as you go from left to right instead of increasing. So this is what my, graph, my final graph should look like. The plus 3 means that we're going to take the vertical asymptote that's normally at 0 and we're going to move it three places to the left. Again, it's always opposite direction the sign you have here. Instead of plus, we'll move it three places to the left. So three places to the left. I'm going to draw my vertical line through there. That represents my vertical asymptote. Now, in the picture here, the graph is crossing one place to the right of your vertical, which means that it's also going to cross one to the right of my vertical there as well. Another way of thinking about that is this spot at 1 comma 0, that's going to move three places to the left. So originally it was at 1 right here. We move it 1, 2, 3 places to the left. That will also get us the same x-intercept. The graph itself is going to look like this dotted line. So the graph is going to fall and do this. Now this particular graph is not asking us to find the y-intercept at all. For the y-intercept, that involves something that we haven't learned yet. At this point, that will be in a later session, you'll be able to tell what the actual number is and you could get a little bit more accurate graph if you knew exactly where it crossed the, uh, the y-axis here. But at this point, we're just going to do general sketches since we haven't learned how to do that yet. So the uh, x-intercept, we know that's going to be negative 2 because it crosses right here. We just said that, 1 to the right of your vertical asymptote. And now the last thing we want to do is domain. Domain is talking about the x values the graph is using. The graph is only using values on this side of the vertical asymptote, which means that those are uh, x values that are greater than negative 3. So negative 3, we're going to put a parenthesis on it, and that's going to go to infinity. We can't use any more numbers to the left of negative 3. Negative 3 is where our, our vertical asymptote is. That's never included. That's always a parenthesis. And all the values go this way to the right.